assume you'll bring us some good news tonight. Other than the budget, we budget. can talk about good news if you'd like. We can. I'm sorry? No, I didn't. We can talk about good news if you want. <laughs> I think it would be lovely while everybody settles down here and gets their pages. You could give us a little bit of good news. Okay. Um, well, hopefully it's good news. I did, I did send out a, an update uh, back in October I sent to you as well. Mm -hmm. um, just update you on the condition or the um, preparation we're making for the 2016 revaluation. Um, we're in the process now of uh, reviewing sales. Um, just to let you know that this year we've, we've, we currently have, for the equalization ratio study that we do on a yearly basis, we're looking at about 450 sales, which typically in the past few years we've looked at between 250 and 350 sales. So the, so the market's been really good. Um, the appreciation on those sales has been really good. Uh, the market seems to be uh, continuing at that pace in Hampton. Um, Could we're you throw a percentage at, at that, what you're seeing? You know, there's pockets, uh, the, the overall percentage would be about 12% based on the assessment to sale ratio. However, if you look at properties or neighborhoods on an individual basis, um, and we did, we were out in the field today looking at those, we are seeing some neighborhoods in the 20 to 30 percent appreciation range. So we're not sure, really sure, you know, where the results will be next April 1, but it appears that the market uh, overall is much greater than the 12 percent as a, as a total variation from current assessments. <clears throat> um, with all the new development, we're actually looking at possibly uh, more than likely having over a thousand sales to analyze as part of the revaluation, which is really good that most neighborhoods in town will have multiple sales, which will give us a better guide, <coughs> a better uh, ability to, to, to value those um, you know, at or near market. So we'll have a lot of supporting data for that. Um, new development has, has been, as you know, um, the past few years has been very substantial. That's the same thing that's going to happen again this year. Um, we've currently entered 90-something new condominium units for this year coming up for 2016. In 15, we added over 100, 120-something new condominium units. So the condo market has been pretty good. Um, just to let you know, we, we are approaching 3,000 residential condo units in town um, as a total. Um, that compared to other towns, we're talking, you know, we're, we're over 50% in just the condominiums in relation to some of the communities uh, on the seacoast. Uh, we're also approaching over 9,000 parcels. Actually, we've topped 9,000 parcels. Um, and expect to, if things continue even at a minimal of the rate it's been continuing, um, I can see us hitting 10,000 parcels within another couple of years. Um, the majority of those are taxable. There's only a few hundred that are exempt, town, state, and non-taxable churches, that type of uh, entities. So we're looking at, you know, um, the town growing at a pretty good rate in the past few years. Um, so we're hoping that the reval goes good. We're hoping that um, the appreciation we see is, is substantial, um, you know, being fair and equitable in doing that. But that's what we're hoping for. And we're hoping that uh, development continues. Um, we did add, you know, 10 new homes on Hilliard Ave down on uh, Winnicunnet Road. but. Uh, there's been this year, I think, close to 20 or 25 demolition permits that have been uh, issued. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of new, a lot of tear down and new development and the development of the new properties are bigger and better single family homes. So there's been a lot of um, value increases that way as well. So things are, things are looking pretty good at the moment. So. Thank you. Before we get into the budget, does anyone have any questions for the assessor? Okay. Uh, I have a couple of quick ones. On the budget. On the budget. Okay. Well, let's. Did you want me to go over, over it first? Go over the budget first. No. Okay. You can go. Yeah. Just. Yeah. I can wait. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
I did want to go over that because there's two items I did want to discuss. But overall, the budget, um, it appears, was, uh, is going up 14.6% of proposed. Um, the majority of that value, uh, $40,000 of that, is relative to the contracted services line item. That line item has to do with the defensive values um, in appeal cases. Um, it requires, in appeal cases, uh, the majority of those cases are very complex and require um, expert appraisal reports and expert testimony at, at trial. Uh, that's uh, an item that, if you look back in 2013, that line item was a, uh, it was funded for our department beginning in 2013. Prior to that, that line item or th that fund, the funds that that paid for those expert reports and that expert testimony, was through the uh, attorney's uh, through the budget, legal budget. Legal budget. Um, so in 2013, the first year that we funded that, we funded it with $60,000. That year we only used 41% of that. In 2014, we only used 70% of that 60000 The reason for the request of the increase is that this year, and it has to do with how appeals are filed and how they are heard, they don't file them and immediately get heard. They can they can drag on for multiple years. They can end up requiring multiple reports even before we go to trial. But when they do, we do go to trial, we need those reports. So we do have to prepare them ahead of time. The issue this year was that we had four or five complex utility appraisals that all came to hearing or to date. Dates were, dates were set at Superior Court and at the BTLA where we had to prepare our expert as well as, you know, get those reports um, completed. So if you look at it over a three-year span, I believe we're basically at the 60000 per year number. The mm -hmm. problem with appeals is that you can't look at just one year because, again, every year companies, private individuals, whoever, can file an appeal. It doesn't automatically get scheduled at the courts or at the BTLA. BTLA sometimes is a year and a half, two years behind. Courts the same way. Mm -hmm. So that, that's the reason for the overage this year, and that's the reason for the request of the increase to $100,000 from $60,000. Uh, just a question on that. You're saying we dealt with four or five this year in 2015? This year alone, they all, ones that actually were scheduled in 11. Right. They were, they were filed in 11, this either year. between postponements, delays, court scheduling, BTLs. We finally ended up hearing they several out of now. this year. Now, so we, how we, many do you anticipate or ha how many have been scheduled for 2016? We currently have one scheduled, and this is a good point because the one scheduled for March of 16 was actually supposed to be heard today and tomorrow at Superior, at Superior Court. But Superior Court um, could not listen, could not hear it on two days. So instead of doing one day now, one day down the road, we had to okay. reschedule. So that actually will go now till March. So we have only one on the agenda. But that was, that one was not part of that four and five this year. With preparing the reports it was. It was. And so preparing the experts, because the trial would have been today. So is that partially prepaid at this point? That's been paid, so yes, exactly. Okay. So going forward, we have that one paid, but nothing. Not the expert report. I mean, the expert report's paid, but not the expert testimony. Okay. So we'll still need that. Okay. Now, the problem ha that which took place in 11 was that, and this is not just Hampton, but multiple communities all across the state, all the utility companies have been appealing their values. Mm -hmm. Um, the, you know, Unitil had 20 appeals throughout the state. PSNH had over 50. They did not appeal here. Um, so, so um, Aquarian Water has multiple appeals. Um, we, we don't know who's going to appeal. And, and, and this this round since 2011, it's been utilities. Utilities have been appeal, appealing all over the state. Mm -hmm. Well, no, I'm sorry. There's just no nope. way to come to a meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Discreetly, Let's grab a chair. But Sandy, we're going to welcome you verbally so that 
Um, our secretary, who's not in the room, knows that you are now with us. Thank you for being here tonight. Okay, and I think I understand that one. Um, <coughs> we just, you know, like I said, we just don't know when mm -hmm. things are going to get heard or things are going to get scheduled. Okay. But in your estimation, you think that you'll be seeing more cases come, come due in this coming year, in we're, 2016? We'd, we'd anticipate that it would continue. Um, it hasn't seemed to stop. And with the reval, the potential for new appeals being filed. Mm -hmm. That's why looking at it over a five-year period makes more sense than looking at, for this line item, an individual year. Because again, some years when you can spend 50% of it we don't want to spend 100, 200 percent of it, but you know that it, it was like a, you know it just happened that four or five got scheduled all at the same time. Now, is there anything else that's contracted other than legal and the appeals process out of that line? Anything where we need an expert report or expert testimony would come out of that line. So it's basically legal expert testimony, not right. All right. Okay. Um, the other line item that I wanted to discuss, although it appears to be going up 129 percent, basically it, it's going from 1700 to 3900 dollars, and that's the um, motor vehicle allowance rebate refund. You know, uh, for for mileage, that would that would relate to myself, um, my assistant Charlene, and the contract um, data collector that we have. Um, well, with with the with the increase in sales, the increase in permits, plus the cyclical work, um, the the mileage and the amount of time out on the road has increased greatly. Now that the reval is underway, that's only going to get greater. Um, so that's the line item we're requesting um, that increase for. Okay, now the contract person, what line do we have, are we expending for him? Is that under regular wages or part-time part wages? wages? Yeah. Okay. And this will be the last year for that, um, that line item. Okay. Okay. Questions? Just a clarification. Um, mm -hmm. That contract services, 2011, it was 79000 so. Yeah. So it yeah, it wouldn't be through my budget, though. Is what I'm, I'm, what but, I'm it, but I'm saying in, in your actuals for 14, <coughs> that, that account had an expense of $79,553. So I don't know whether it was different contracted services than what we're using for now. Oh, in 2011, I'm sorry. Yeah, 2011, yeah. We, did, we did a revaluation. I believe that was a revaluation line. Okay. Would that have been the line that we used for the revaluation? Yeah, we, in 2011. Okay. Oh, yeah, we that was part of the evaluation. That was the revaluation that we did. Okay. Yeah. And that's what you'll see in next year's budget. There'll be a line item for the revaluation. Yeah. Okay. Michael. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I, I'm a little confused on this one, uh, Ed, about the contracted services. Mm -hmm. um, we've been uh, floating along in that account for, I think it was budgeted for 60000 for a long time, and it's always been floating under that. And... Uh, we're up to, I think the last count, about 120,000 just for this year. And you want to increase it to 100,000. Well, who are some of the people that we've had to do the, all this special money spending on, like? Yeah, what are the utilities? Which utilities yeah. are we specifying here? Well, we did, um, we, uh, one of the, one of the uh, line items was for FOSS manufacturing. FOSS manufacturing had a field their property value. Uh -huh. I believe that was back in 11, 11 or 12. Yeah. Um, um, let me get that, that's not a utility. No, no well, no. it wasn't just utilities, but I'm just saying that utilities are, are more complex, requiring more work and a, and a, a more detailed report. They're yeah. much more expensive than doing a, like a commercial appraisal, a utility appraisal is. But you had somebody contracted to do uh, process. Contract service. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we um, we just give you some of the line items here. Okay. So we had Northern Utilities. What is it? Northern Utilities and Unitil. They're they're you know that they're the same company, but they both 
both the gas and the electric filed an appeal right. in 2011. That was a f it was it was settled this year. Well, it was negotiated settlement this year, but it took. Of course, this is the fifth year, so we had to get reports done because the, the settlement was through the uh, settlement negotiations prior to trial, mm -hmm. like a month before trial. So all the reports had to be done. Okay. We had to have multiple reports for both of those companies for the 2015 trial that was coming up. Okay. Again, I talked about unit I mean, um, Aquarian Water. Yeah. That trial was today and tomorrow, has been rescheduled. We had to get the report done for that. That's the third report we had to get done. Um, March now of, of 16? Yeah. March of 16. We had uh, Hampton River, River Marina, although it's not a utility, that was a multi-year appeal that we needed because of the income stream. We had to have an appraisal done. It wasn't a utility appraisal, but it was an appraisal from Crafts Appraisal, who does a lot of our work for us. Okay. We had to get an appraisal done. That was a multi-year appeal, which is still pending for 13 and 14. We haven't, we're waiting to hear about 13 being withdrawn, however, 14 still pending. More than likely, they'll file for 15. Um, because income and expenses are a are, are year to year thing, we have to do reports for individual years when we're dealing with multi, multiple year appeals. We can't do a value for one year and expect to use it right. two or three years later. That's all that. Yep. Um, we have a pending appeal with Fairpoint that has not been uh, scheduled yet. We haven't, we now, we haven't done a lot of work on that as of date, but we have done a little bit. We have not done our reports for that yet. Um, again, I talked about FOSS manufacturing. FOSS, man, I didn't talk about it. FOSS manufacturing was another one where we needed to re reports done for that one okay. because of the complexity of that company. Um, Fox, FOSS, and um, I think that was dealt with in 2014. We also had an appeal of uh, assisted living and nursing facility on Lafayette Road. Okay. Um, that was another expense because of the complexity of the nursing home, the income stream. So those, those are some of the ones that were recent that we had to get appraisal reports done and also have expert testimony at the same time. So what kind of money are, is at risk if we just let it all go and then we honored their request? How many millions of dollars would that be, roughly? Oh, I, well, just, <laughs> um, you know, these... I'm just ballpark. Yeah, I mean, so I'm just wondering some of these are... Significant, you know, huh? Yeah, the thousand, I mean, the one here is like uh, 69th, almost $100,000. Okay. To return, okay, and so appraisal may cost twenty-five thousand. Testimony may cost another few, but it's between that or giving back a hundred thousand dollars. Right. I just wanted to make sure we were doing it from an economical point of view. We're spending five dollars to get a dollar back. We, we we've always been under this assumption that to just settle and give money back opens the door. If that word gets out, oh yeah, that everybody's going to file. Sure. I mean we. I think the best thing to do Even is I fight, would. but it costs money to fight. <laughs> you know, so. Thank you. Yep. That's, that's my question. Okay, going around the table. <clears throat> Brian. Um, Mike got most of my things answered. Um, but it does bother me with the uh, contracted services because I looked 2013 and it was 25000 mm -hmm. Then we up to 33 mm -hmm. then we went up to 60 now we're at 100 yeah how much <laughs> and i know you probably can't answer this but how much does it cost for one of these utilities litigation is there a you know some kind of a rough average of how much these cost us yeah to go through this every year well you know well i mean it's because that's what it seems to be. It's every year we're going to have to go through this. I didn't know if there was. Well, we, you, I mean, we've settled them through th to th through this year, so we don't know if what's going to happen in sixteen with the right. revaluation. You know, but potentially, yeah, it, it could go on and on. I mean, I don't know that. 
Um, utility appraisals, appraisals typically have been running between twenty and twenty-five thousand dollars for a report. Okay. Yeah. I just. Yeah. All right, that, I'm all set. Thank you. Jerry? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I'm troubled by this line item, too, Ed. How are you doing? Good. Um, I, I look back to, I went back uh, four or five years here. Mm -hmm. You're averaging, I mean, going back to 2011, 12, 13, 14, well, thir through, from 2011 through 2014, you averaged $34,000 a year in that line item. And if you look, if you look, um, I think it's uh, 2014 here. Jerry, well, you're looking. I'm just going to ask Ed a question. Ed, would you <clears throat> refresh me again? What year did we start taking funds out of the legal budget and directing them to your department? I believe it was 2013. Okay. I believe that's correct. Is it possible that going back before 2013, that expense showed up in legal? Yeah, that's where I'm going. I just want to clarify that because we changed, and I remember right, I, I, that I, money coming out of Mark's line and going in yours, which made him look great. And we took some of Mark's right. that line item from Mark, which I I don't remember. I think it might have been twenty thousand. Mm -hmm. Might have been the number. It was when and we created it up to sixty. So whatever it was prior that, to that, right. Okay. Well, my, yeah, whatever marks was prior to that became mine at 60. I think the 20 came from his line item, but All we right. made. So it's no longer there, but prior to that in prior years, yeah, you may good. only have been showing that expense before 2013 because some of that was coming out of Mark's budget. Perhaps. <clears throat> oh, was yeah, all, all, the, all the bills for appraisal reports and all that expert testimony was going up to legal for, their, okay. for them to pay. I, I, don't, I didn't pro right. I'm process sorry. any of that. Jerry, I'll turn it back. No, to I mean it, it, that, that's what makes me uncomfortable because Mark doubled this year. He, from 15 to 16, he's doubled. He went from 25 mm -hmm. to 50k for a contract that services on the outside. And this line item shows up, and it almost looks like, you know, and I don't want to, you know, cast suspicions or anything, but it almost looks like we lost a lawyer, and we gave the one we lost line items to Ed. Well, all, all I can say is my line item is to pay for expert mm -hmm. reports and expert testimony. Any appraisals the town needs go through my budget. That's Attorney nice. fees or any other type fees would go through legal, not through assessing. So I, you know, so I don't, I'm, I can't answer for Mark's budget, but this budget is. That's for, how it was separated out. You have the report piece. Right. I I hire the, the appraisal is still I hire the appraisals. Mark. I. Yeah, we hire we who, through my who, office. Who, who who hires the lawyers? Oh, that would be Mark, not not me. Mark gets the lawyers, presents the legal side of things. And he you pays for the that. Who gets the special witnesses? Well, it's, the witnesses would be again my experts that do an appraisal report would be the ex would be the witness to their appraisal report. That's that's so how that you get works. the witnesses and you you have the appraisals and the witnesses of the appraisal. Blah blah blah. He has the lawyers. I, I, yeah, I mean, I have. You have to show up with a lawyer, right? That is BTL. Well, Mark's, Mark's, Mark Mark uh, yeah. does the Mark does the Present. tri presents the trials right. for for us. Yes, but this line item has taken off, and it may well, be just like you painted the, the it, fact it that it all came in on you. <laughs> all of these things that were pending came in on you, and all at once this yeah. year. Yeah. As you can tell by thirteen and fourteen. We had some, but we were nowhere near the line item. You this really year, are, really I remember level, last yeah. year it was undisputed. <clears throat> we sat here saying, well, none of them have landed, and right. they will eventually. Now, are you, do you have all your assessments done of the utilities? For the revaluation? No, I mean, for, you know, for gas or electric or water and are those assessments. Well, they're, they're, they're assessed through 2015. Through? They're not through assessed for the revaluation. So they have to be reevaluated? Yes. For this fifth for the sixteen. 15, 16. For sixteen. This again. <laughs> yeah. Good. Curious. Well we have to value all properties anew, so that includes the utilities. We have no choice but to value those as well. Yeah. I'm curious on the lawsuits for the abatements. Has the town ever won? Oh yeah. Yeah. Well we um, I think I think in a lot of these put it on a balance. Because, you know, when you're talking 
utilities, they've got a big legal department, or a has got a big legal department. You know, their, their lawyers are paid all along. I'm just curious. Yeah, I think, I think the expert reports help in our negotiation. Yeah, because I remember what happened with Seabrook. Right. But, but on a couple of these, we were able to negotiate settlements through 2015 based on the expert reports that supported. Yeah, well, that's, that's you know, the uh, ideal solution to yeah, work a I compromise. Mean, you know? It would be nice to win every one of them, but it's, yeah, it's not right. going to happen. So. The other question I have mm -hmm. is you're going through a reassessment. Properties that are selling, are they selling? close to their assessed value or are they above or below? Well, we always look at look at a reval as, as a third of the properties go up, a third stay the same, third third may go down a little bit. And some properties may, when we reconfigure all the, the um, grades and, and adjustments and stuff, but the market overall, though, is indicating, and we've looked at sales today, and I, as, like I said, we right now we have 700 and 44 sale qualified sales that we are starting to review and we have to look at sales through next April 1 So we're looking at potentially a thousand sales today. We looked at close to 100 sales and I think You I'm, automatically when a sale gets completed you change the test. No, you don't, not to no, we can't do that. We have to do it as part of a full time-wide revaluation We can't ju yeah, just adjust right. one sale at a time but, but but the sales are indicating that, that values are increasing. In five years from now, when you reassess, well, right. right? Yeah. Yeah. Ed, um, so far, year to date, you've spent uh, two hundred and seventy-nine thousand dollars in your budget. Yes. That, that annualizes out to three thirty-five if you if it's a linear spend rate, which I don't know. That, I don't know that it is. How much of that 279 spent you to date has been dedicated to the reevaluation effort? Well, to, to roughly. Uh, you just talked about contracted services, so that wouldn't be part of the reevaluation. No, the, the, the reval is, a, is, a, um, is not part of this budget. It is, a, it is not part no, of, well, well, it is. You've got regular wages, right? You've got a guy there that you've hired. Well, we, our, 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 the person we hired to do um, cyclical work. Last year, you hired, well, this year. Yeah, he's you hired somebody for this year. I thought it was part of the eval. Uh, well, we're trying, we, yeah, yeah, the cyclical work is, 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 is necessary to go to the properties that haven't been visited to make sure that the information is correct or more correct um, so that everybody's treated fairly. So, but I mean, is, is he laying the groundwork for the evaluation? He's, he's laying the groundwork for the data being correct. Okay. The revaluation is going to be done by myself and vision. Okay. But that's the, but was, is his work considered under the category of, of that, of the reevaluation of 15, 16? He was, he was hired for the purpose of doing the cyclical work as part of, to, you, did you need to that help? Do we need it? Did you need that as part of the evaluation? Yes, we did. So I think during the presentation last year, you did say that it was his role was going to be to help out on this reevaluation. Well, yeah, well, yeah, the cyclical work, that's the health. So was he in this uh, regular wages <coughs> business? <coughs> He's under regular wages. How much of that, about half of that or what? No, 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 not no, no, no. I'm trying to 18, determine. 50, uh, 40, what's 40,000, I think, 1850 an hour. Okay, uh, it's 40K or so. Yeah. So, what other line items here might be, have been bumped by, due to the evaluation, if any? Oh, nothing was. Exactly. If Except you part, the, uh, part time went down, supplies went down, okay. um, data processing basically stayed the same. But that was so. Basically, the operating budget is everything's is, pretty much is only that fellow we hired. Yeah, and the increase in mileage, motor vehicle allowance is necessary based on what I just showed, told you about all the additional or, or larger amounts of work that have come you know, through the office or through okay. the town. Right. From, yeah. So, okay, that's what I wanted to. So, like I said, if you take the 40000 I mean, for the increase we're looking for, the rest of the budget we're looking for $1,554. Yeah. Um, this has been an unusual year, Ed, in terms of these utilities and these marinas well, it has and because manufacturing. If you look at my budget every year, we've you're never, a, you're we've never spent. You're in a new stratosphere. We've never... We've never reached our budget limit. No, you're 30,000, 40,000. Yeah, always 30,000, 40,000 below. You this think is, 
This hasn't been a, it's been a busy year. And you're asking next year for a big bite too. You know, get, give you a little comparison that I know it doesn't matter, but if you look at, let's take Seabrook for example. Yeah. Their, their taxable value is two and a half billion dollars. Half of that's the Seabrook plant. Yeah. So their, their properties are valued at 1.25 billion. Yeah. <clears throat> They got 40, basically 42, 4,300 parcels. We got 9,000. Yeah. Their assessing budget's $300,000. So, I mean, we're not, I don't, for the amount of work and the limited staff, and I'm not, you know, I'm just saying, I think the number we have, I don't know if how we can do it for anything well, less. Yeah, well, we haven't gotten anything. We haven't gotten the, the other line item, but to the mm -hmm. contracted services. We haven't gotten at the supplies and any of that stuff yet, so. Yeah. Which we want to get into. Well, I, you know, I, did, I just don't know how we can do it any for any less at this uh, point. I, I, I just had to get the feel. I, I didn't know how the evaluation effort was weighing in on this. Oh, the, the, the and I think you've clear, clarified that. Yeah. I mean, All right. I think uh, we've killed this subject. Yeah. Anything else in this budget yeah. uh, that anyone has a question on? The, um, on, on wages. Um, mm -hmm. When we're running uh, through the end of October, 121,000, and so that annualizes to 145,000, and and we're looking at 167,000, uh, you know, in the in the budget. So is there, you know, the running rate for for this year compared to the budget that we're asking for? Is there a change of staffing? Um, you know, is there no. somebody in a full? It's just myself, Charlene, the two full full time staff, and the part time the, the yeah. contractor. I think we had a 1.5 percent increase in uh, pay raise. Yeah, it's just the actual numbers. When you take October's year to date, divide it by 10, yeah, multiply I mean, it by it 12. It should equal at the end. It always has. So I yeah, don't know. It's, 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 it's it says it's, it's a fifth. The, your contract guy didn't start till what? Oh, that's right. The contractor. He didn't okay. start till April. That's the okay. Yeah, good. we didn't. That's right. We didn't get. He didn't get on board yep. till April. Thank so you. that was a little less because of it. Sorry. Right. Nice wiggle. Nice wiggle. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, data, data processing, you mentioned vision. I mean, we spent $1,200 so far this year, but we're saying uh, $12,000 uh, in, in the budget. Is that, do we pay them at the, in the next couple of months? Vision gets paid um, once a year for the, for the, for the large um, okay, that, that maintenance of the, of the camera system. Okay, that bill must be coming up because it did. And it went up, It actually went up like one hundred and fifty dollars, like fifty three fifty, something like that. Yeah. Um, also, in regards to sending out tax bills, um, we do pay for the postage. No, yeah. we pay for the. We pay for one thing. I think we pay for postage. No, I think when the postage came out what of What do we pay for? When it, no, the printing of the bills. I'm sorry, we yeah. pay for the bills because the bills come for the. The warrant and comes from assessing to the tax collector, which means we, we take care of the actual yeah. tax bills. So and we just, pay for those. Yeah, it's through October we've spent a thousand and twenty dollars and we're asking for twelve thousand. So there yeah. must be that that big bill must be coming in yeah, it does. On November, yeah. December. Also the um, that and the um, GIS bill. Okay. For the, for the, it just came in. It just came in for the uh, online GIS. Okay. Uh, Canvas, yeah. oh, I want to understand this guy uh, a little bit better. You're right. We, we, he, he's uh, spent 1,020 through October, the, the, and he's budgeting 12,000 for next year. Right. The bills for both Vision, for Cartographic, which is which maintains our GIS mapping system, and you see that online. If Vision. Needed. Vision and appraisal for the evaluation that's going to be taking place. No, vision appraisal. Every year we pay a, a fee to maintain. We have the visual appraisal system. The camera right. system. Yeah. yeah, maintenance of the camera system and the running of the camera system. What is that roughly? That's around fifty-three. Well, it's gone. It goes up every year a little bit. It's around fifty-three hundred dollars. I believe okay. this year. I may have it here, but I. Fifty-three fifty. Yeah. Fifty-three fifty. And what was the other one? GIS. Did you say? GIS. Also, we have the online. Um, Vision Online, which is, I believe, 2700 2750 Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vision yeah. Online. All those things get paid once a year, and you typically at the end of the year. So we don't spend yeah. until we get those bills right at this time of year. And I believe uh, Christy was market. right. Yeah, those bills just came I in just last week. So I received those bills last week. So are you, are you saying that by the end of the year you'll be... Uh, 
That line item gets filled, yeah. It does. That does, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you yeah. should start to see that in the actuals by the end of right. November. Right. I didn't. I just want to leave that, with yep. Scott. I wasn't totally comfortable yet. Yeah. Okay. I, I am more comfortable now. Thank you, Christy and, okay. and Ed. Yeah. For for data processing anyway. Right. Tip. Supplies and expense. Maybe we should let Brian handle that. He's a supplies and expense well, guy. I'm gonna acknowledge Tim for us because he yeah. has his hand up. Sure. And Good evening, Ed. Good evening. Um, you, you said that <coughs> the tax bills are actually printed under your department and not well, the we, tax collectors. We pay for the printing. We pay for the printing. We produce the warrant, therefore we produce the tax bills, which are presented to the tax collector. Is that a function of law that it's coming out of your... It's, it's in the RSA, yeah. correct. So it's your responsibility to send out the, the tax warrant. bills? Not to send them out. Oh, well, to, to produce them. To produce, to produce them. the warrant, okay. which is the tax bills. Yep. Just wanted to get clear on that. Thank yep. you very much, Ed. You're welcome. <laughs> Jerry, did you want a supply question? Yeah, I have a supply question. We're budget, we budgeted uh, 9331 for 215 Year to date, we spent about five grand. Mm -hmm. It annualizes out to about 6700 if you do it linearly. Mm -hmm. You're now asking for 9061. Mm -hmm. So it just seems a little bit high to me compared to your 215 actuals to date annualized out. Um, Comment. Yes. Um, some of those line items have to do with um, continuing education and mileage that relates to going to continuing education classes. Um, I'm required to recertify in 2016. Um, although that line item, again, just like the other, doesn't get totally used each year, it is necessary um, on a yearly basis to have that line item for that purpose of um, education. Um, that's one of the um, supplies and expense in 014, Ed, was 4224. Well, I, I mean, Jerry, all I can tell you is that we're not going to max that I line out every year. I'm not going to, but, but it's the line items that are in there are necessary um, and Hold potentially on. are necessary. I'm just, I, I'm you just saying you, you actually spent in 2014 $4,000 essentially. And you were year to date and 15, would I say you were? About well, the registry <clears throat> expense. Let me go, let me go over the registry expense. That's there in case what we typically every month will get the deeds from the registry for the sales. However, if we have to record anything um, regarding uh, re renewed leases for the lease land, uh, we have to record those. Any barn preservation easements, now those aren't going to come up in the same amount every year. We may have one one year, we may have seven the next year. It's, we don't know each year. It's not going to be the same every year. Um, so that's that one. Conference and education, um, has, again, has to do with um, continuing education, the New Hampshire Assessing Association meetings that I have to go to. Um, the education will be spent more. Um, some of it's been spent this year. You'll see some more stuff coming through. Yeah. Actually, we're going to be at a conference next Thursday, Friday in Manchester, and I have another um, class that I have to take in December. Um, yeah, but you had the same array of expenses last year when you presented. Right. As you have this year. They're just the same, yeah. the same line items. I looked at the same line items. And, and not big spent, that's all I can say. Yeah, looking at four, is not looking at 14 and 15 year to date, right? And looking at your array of expenses, right? They were identical from last year to this year. That's my only comment. I hear what you're saying. Some come in on time, some don't. Yeah, I mean it's not going to. It's not it's just not a line item that's going to be spent 100 percent every year. I don't have the uh, history of that line item, Scott. Do you? Yeah, it's it's uh, 2011. It was 10,200. Okay. 2012, uh, 9,100. So. Going back in what about those earlier years, you're right on, you know, but it's, uh, is he, uh, what about 13? Down. What about 13? Uh, 6,800. Trying to save money. But I don't those want to lose those items. Years, gonna, though, were they? What's uh -huh. Those were not re-evaluation years, though, were they? No. So this is? They were not certification years, either. I have to, right. I have to uh, complete all that, you know, what stuff. So your supplies and expenses would probably vary yeah. in that case. So they're not truly comparable mm. because of that. How much do you estimate the certification and reevaluation 
uh, increases the supplies and expenses. Well, for, you mean for my certification? Um, I've got to complete uh, a use PAP course, which is going to be around 300. I've got to do a um, uh, state statutes one day course. Um, but also, we, again, we've got a two day conference next week and um, the monthly meetings of the New Hampshire Association. So there'll be a meeting in December. Um, I, I, you know, I, I think that line item is probably going for next year is going to be right on that $1,500. Um, Just looking for a ballpark for a percentage increase that the reval and, and certifications increase your supplies and expense line. Just a gut feel. Um, I, I, I won't hold it to you, I promise. Well, I mean, would, <laughs> what did we spend last year? Would you say $6,400 or something like that? They I, don't I, really have a gut feel for that, then. I'm not really sure. You know, it's hard no, to say. No real gut feel. Okay, fair enough. 4200 in 2014, yeah. But that was low. It was low because the tax bills come out of that account. The tax bills, right. something must be wrong because tax bills alone are going to be over 4000 You haven't paid for the tax bills yet. No, I meant in 14. I was talking 14, 14, yeah. They're over $4,000. Yeah, because there's another tax bill coming in, too, for the second tax, for second war, second set of bills. Those don't vary year to year, though, except for inflation costs. Yeah, I and think it's the they're, same activity they're every year. Basically 2000 and something each, yeah. each quarter, or each half. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? Brian? Got to get something in, I guess. <laughs> I'm, surprised. I'm getting a little confused here. Because on the supplies and expenses, you said this is for your continuing education and mileage. Well, under conference and, we and education, under conference and education, um, I use that right. line item for monthly assessor meetings, the yearly conference that's going to be that will mm -hmm. be next week, and the mileage associated with that. Right, and we also have a mileage account. Well, that mileage is for again for in town review property review, cyclical work, sales review, that line item is used for that. Okay. I want to keep the account separate. Any mileage associated with a conference or an education thing, I'm taking out of that line item. So he has... Yeah, no, I understand it. Places, I just, um, because there's another one... Um, and expense... Uh, for the changes for the registry right. easements. Um, isn't this included in the two line items as well? We're talking about registry expenses? Yes. Yeah. What would be included? In, what are you asking what's included? It would be under the oh, I'm gonna let that one pass. I'm gonna have to check that one out. <laughs> okay. One other I'm question. Ed. Are you all yep. done? One other question. I don't see any gas allowance here, Christy, for this account or line item. Uh, mileage. No, we do mileage. Mm -hmm. Sure. Doing mileage. We do mileage instead because we use, they use their own vehicles. Oh, you use your own vehicles. Yes. Yeah. That's why it's, it's the wonder you're not here asking for a brand new car. Easy. Okay, we're <laughs> going to stop on that one. <laughs> All right. I think we've killed. Thanks, Ed. You're we've welcome. killed Thank this you, shot list of things that. We've always done a good job of keeping it in wrap. Thank you very much okay. for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you.